Hi, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions, bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working on a project that a friend of mine built in Chief Architect. I'm using Chief Architect Premier version X12. It's a third floor edition on a tri-level home. And tri-level homes are tricky because you have different floor levels, so you can't really use the default uh, floor and ceiling uh, elevations across your whole floor. I've tried it where you have, uh, say, the, the this middle section here on the right as a different floor level, but then it messes up the, the ceiling height on this side, and it's just, it's difficult. Anyway, um, wanted to just kind of go through a couple things on um, getting this, particularly working with uh, tri-level homes, split-level homes, and uh, how to quickly analyze uh, what we're doing. So let's get started. Here's the proposed model and I took a quick elevation and noticed that um, something's strange about this front room up on the upper left in the third floor. And when I go back to floor plan and click inside the room, it's not actually selecting a room like these back here do. So as I look around, uh, I'm going to start using this icon here on my toolbar is to turn layers off or the layer hider, which you can go to tools, layer settings, layer hider right there. And you can just start turning off various levels. And I don't want to show that button again for now. You know what? I'm going to keep it. No, I know what that means. Okay, so I'm just turning layers off um, so I can see what's what around here. And um, attic wall, turn off the attic wall. Aha! See, as I turned off the attic wall layer, it that's what happened was there was an attic wall right here in the corner and that means that this is not a contained, fully contained room. So I'm going to go back to walls, attic, and turn that back on. And I can just drag that wall over and now it is a fully contained room. But when I do that and go back to my elevation, something's off now with the ceiling height. And that shoves the third floor floor height up. So before I do this on the second floor is this middle room and this back room are the correct heights. And so I just want to go to second floor and I'm going to select this bedroom and I'm going to use this tool down here on my child tools once I've selected the bedroom we have this match properties. Uh, icon, which you can use uh, Control J on a Mac, on a key, on a PC, or Command J on a Mac. In this room, I'm going to select all of the matching objects that have the same ceiling elevation and the same floor elevation, right there. And so they're selecting these, these rooms that are grayed out, have that same elevation, same uh, floor and ceiling heights. Then once I've done that select, I'm going to apply the properties. So on a PC, it's Control K. On a Mac, it's Command K. I'm going to apply those floor and ceiling properties to the following rooms. There's the closet, that closet. This closet and bedroom and bathroom. Okay, for some reason it's not allowing me to do that to apply those properties. So let's go back here. No, it did do it. So let's open up that. Maybe it just didn't show it in the um, 48 and the ceiling's 140 and a quarter just didn't show it in the gray, so let's just do our select match properties, ceiling elevation, and floor elevation. 
There we go. You did select that. I'm going to look through a section of this hallway as well. Just make sure what we've got. The hallway looks to be the right height. Maybe the floor is just a bit off. Structure. Ceiling doesn't change because something about the um, floor above here it doesn't like. I'm going to select this master bedroom and do that same match properties. Uh, don't need ceiling. Let's just do the floor elevation 150 and a quarter. And then we'll paste properties onto that space there. Maybe now our hallway will have the proper doesn't doesn't allow me ceilings may not be changed as the floor above this room has varying heights. Maybe it's this room. Yep. Fifty and a quarter. There we go. So that match properties really helps a lot. The other thing that helps is the elevation. And also in the full camera view, uh, full overview, I can use this cross section slider, which you can find Uh, under 3D and don't use it in the menus very often so let's see here <laughs> anyway cross-section camera view options there we go camera view options cross-section slider and so when I first pull up, let me, let me go back to plan. Down here on the, uh, this, this face is the, what chief architects would, chief architect would consider kind of the front of the house. So I, when I do this perspective full overview, it's going to kind of see that oblique, that face first. So. When I do my cross-section slider, you can look at these as the sections from what the front of the house would be. So I want the, uh, this is the front face of the house. That means that cross-section is going to cut the, off the left side of the house, which is the one I want. So I'm going to uh, check that box and then move my slider over left and right, and that gives me my cross-section sliding tool. Click OK, and now I've got a cross-sectional full 3D model that I can see what's going on. So I can now see that this is the proper floor height all the way across, ceiling height of the second, first, basement, etc. I can do multiple cross-sections. and adjust, I could do a left and a front cross in my model and just go back to that and kind of see what's happening with my stairs as well. And then I could either close this camera out or turn the cross sections off, uncheck them, and there I'm back to the model. Let's go back up to third floor. This wall is not brick, so we're just going to take this all the way out to the corners. And this is an office now. So we now can give that label. It has proper elevation, floor and ceiling properties, and we're all set. I hope that's helpful. If this has been something you've learned something new, maybe, um, I appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. Subscribe for new videos as they come along. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.